Alright guys, uh, this is Constance again, and here is my second mini album. Um, this one is actually for a friend of mine, for her little girl, um, Lillian, and Heather, I'm sorry they're taking so long. It's finals week, so I'm doing the best that I can with getting all these done. Um, this is, so far this is the only one I've gotten done, and as you notice, it is really, really big compared, I mean, that's, that's how big it is. So, um, this is completely closed. So, uh, what we have here is, this is just says Memory Stone 5. I've done it in stickles. <laughs> and it's got her name, Lily, across the front. And uh, it's all glittery and everything. And then it's got two flowers. And then she's got um, her fibers. There's some zebra print, pink zebra prints from random stuff, and then there's a little charm here, it's got a rose, and another flower, and then she's got another one back here that's just this tada, oh this pink one, it's got a flower, and then there is her monogram ink letter right there. Okay, so then um, when you open it, it's just got a clasp, it hooks just like that. Um, so it's not terribly hard to open. When you open it, um, she wanted it to go from babies to her time now. So on her first page, it just says, it's a girl. And there's a little tag right here that says, babies are such a nice way to start people. And then a little space for journaling. And then she's got, she's got two tags right here that are in the shape of bottles. And, um, she's got places for photos right here and right there and some spaces for journaling and then she's got these little tags of peas and carrots and on the back they're photo mats so there's those <laughs> lady and fun <laughs> and then um, she's got tags in the pocket and these are actually pink paper bags I don't even tell but these are pink paper bags you're not from them so then um, she's got the announcing the arrival of and she can just fill out all the information and a photo mat for the back and then she's got journal space here and a photo mat for the back journal space here and a photo mat for the back and then these are just little onesies um, and then photo mats on the back so and they all sit down in this little slot right here and then she's got the next page just regular plain chain two photo mats and some journaling and then a, um, a waterfall card with a little um, rosette lace flower. And then she's got, uh oh, I accidentally pulled the card. Um, photo right here and some journaling, photo mats, and then two more photo mats. And then, Heather, I don't know if you know, um, I know this is your first one, but they actually. These bags have the divisions on the inside, so if there's two photo mats, keep them from sticking together, there will be um, two spaces in here. This one's a little different because there's eyelets holding this down, but um, they're, they're divided in half like this. So you have a space on each side for each mat. So the next page, you got another ro um, rosette and then a, two photo mats and some journaling. And then here's a tag with some stamped butterflies. Here's a tag. She can put a photo of just Lillian standing up here. She can cut out and put them this way. So whatever she wants to there. And she's got the first page. Um, in this pocket she's got a photo, two photo mats and um, journaling. And then Heather on each side of these there's a division down the center of this bag and that's what holds, that's what keeps them from sticking together. So. And then she's got two photo mats here in this mini, mini page. And then she's got um, a photo mat, photo mat here, and some journaling, and then a journaling tag with photo mats. And then she's got a mini tag here with a, two photo mats and a slip in, and then another photo mat and some journaling. Um, I just, I wanted this album to be. Um, a lot of stuff for Heather because uh, Lillian um, is older. She's in dance and gym and tumbling and stuff like that. So I wanted it to be something that she could fit everything into. 
So, and then she's got a pocket here with two large tags for photo mats and journaling. And then, let's get to a second here. Oh, so good. And then she's got one of the pop-out cards, which allows quite a few photos to go in here. And I just tie this off with a bow if it wants to do anything today. And then she's got a pocket here that have two photo mats. And then this pocket here has actually got quite a few tags in it, specifically because she wanted um, hol um, holiday <laughs> tags. So here is the spot for journaling, and then the photo goes on the side. And this actually will lift up, Heather, so you can actually glue the photo down underneath here. And then here is a photo mat here and a photo mat there. And then a photo mat here with journaling underneath, and a photo mat here. And then a photo here, and a photo with some journaling there. So I'll just stick all these back in. And then here's the little cupcake that um, I did one for. National Scrapbook Day, so I decided to do another one and put some glitter on the inside of this one. Um, so here's her photo mat and then her journaling card. And then a space for journaling here for whatever she puts in this um, pocket and then another photo mat. And just some tags. And I got a lot of comments about the um, dancer I made for... National Scrapbook Day. Oh, this is a journaling spot too. So I made one for Lillian's dance thing and I put dance down the side and um, cut out another dancer and made a tutu and put some glitter on her. And then I made a photo mat here. And then she has a photo mat on this spot right here. And then she has two waterfall cards. And each one of these has. Um, you can put photos here, and then a photo here, and journal here, a photo here, and journal here, a photo here, and journal here, and it's the same on the other ones. So, and then she's got these tags that are in this pocket. She's got three tags in this pocket, actually. And she's got um, the strawberry one for photos, this one for photos. And then this flower one for photos. The flower one um, I had in here last because I actually had to create a circular piece so that the flower won't come off of the page. So. And then on this page she's got a pocket with a photo mat and some journal space. And a photo mat here and some journal space. And then in this pocket we have the Christmas um, tags. Pull my two at a time. So you've got there's four tags in here, I think. Okay. So you've got photo mat, photo mat, photo mat, photo mat and journaling, photo mat with a little make your season bright thing, and then an ornament with a photo mat in the center. So stick all these back in. And then she has a large photo mat here, two photos on each side, and then the journal spot. Photo mat here, and this last one is a tag that goes in the pocket that she can put photos on. So, um, this is just, by the way, the class, if you want to know, I just got it at Michael's in the sewing section. It's just one of those. And um, the binding, I did my normal bind and just um, did this little flourish thing. So, um, if you have any questions about how I did any of this, um, please comment or let me know, email me or something. Um, 
took, I guess, two days to do this album, and um, I'm, I'm really glad how it turned out. It took a lot, a lot of work due to the amount of tags that I put in this one, um, but thanks for watching, guys, and Heather, I'm sorry they're taking so long. I know you didn't give me a time limit, but I'm kind of, I like to rush myself, so um, they should be in the mail by the end of this week, if not, then on Monday, because um, finals, I have finals all this week. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day.